In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip. said to him, come with me. Philip was from Bethsaida, the town where Andrew and Peter lived. Philip found Nathaniel. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him, he said about him, You are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Do you believe just because I told you I saw you when you were under the fig tree? You will see much greater things than this. I am telling you the truth. You will see heaven open and God's angels going up and coming down on the Son of Man. Two days later, there was a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. <laughs> Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. <laughs> when the wine had given out, Jesus' mother said to him, They are out of wine. Madam, what do you have to do with this? My time has not yet come. Do whatever he tells you. The Jews have rules about ritual washing, and for this purpose, six stone water jars were there, each one large enough to hold between 20 and 30 gallons. Fill these jars with water. They filled them to the brim. Now draw some water out and take it to the man in charge of the feast. which now had turned into wine, and he tasted it. He did not know where this wine had come from, but of course the servants who had drawn out the water knew. So he called the bridegroom. Everyone else serves the best wine first, and after the guests have drunk a lot, he serves the ordinary wine. But you have kept the best wine until now. Jesus performed this first miracle in Cana in Galilee. There he revealed his glory, and his disciples 
believed in him. After this, Jesus and his mother, brothers and disciples went to Capernaum and stayed there a few days. In Samaria, he came to a town named Sychar, which was not far from the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by the trip, sat down by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw some water. God is spirit. And only by the power of his spirit can people worship him as he really is. I know that the Messiah will come. And when he comes, he will tell us everything. I am he. I who am talking with you. At that moment, Jesus' disciples returned, and they were greatly surprised to find him talking with a woman. But none of them said to her, what do you want? Or asked him, why are you talking with her? Then the woman left her water jar and went back to the town. Come and see the man who told me everything I've ever done. The Messiah. So they left the town and went to Jesus. In the meantime, the disciples were begging Jesus, Teacher, have something to eat. But he answered, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. So the disciples started asking among themselves, Could somebody have brought him food? My food is to obey the will of the one who sent me and to finish the work he gave me to do. You have a saying, Four more months and then the harvest. But I tell you, take a good look at the fields. The crops are now ripe and ready to be harvested. The one who reaps the harvest is being paid and gathers the crops for eternal life. So the one who plants and the one who reaps will be glad together. For the saying is true. Someone plants, someone else reaps. I have sent you to reap the harvest in a field where you did not work. Others work there. And you profit from their work. Many of the Samaritans in that town believed in Jesus because the woman had said, he told me everything I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they begged him to stay with them. And Jesus stayed there two days. Many more believed because of his message. And they told the woman, we believe now, not because of what you said, but because we ourselves have heard him and we know that he really is the savior of the world. 